my name is Tala Ode. I am a human rights defender from Jordan. While my academic roots are in clinical pharmacy, my heart and passion lie in the realm of human rights advocacy. This shift in focus was prompted by a realization during my university years that despite being in a field that's typically focused on working with a human being, there was a notable absence of social and humanitarian engagement among my peers. So determined to bridge this gap, I embarked on a journey that led to the establishment of Naman Network for Human Rights Defenders, which is a youth-led network. We are operating in eight MENA countries. Also, I am a member of the Human Rights 75 Youth Advisory Group, which was established by the United Nations Human Rights Office. Looking ahead, I envision a future where youth in the MENA region are the forefront of the human rights advocacy. I see a generation that is not only well-informed, but actively engaged in shaping policies and practices that promote justice, equality, and dignity for all. I don't see young individuals as beneficiaries anymore. I want to see them on decision-making tables and putting their inputs and their dreams and aspirations, see how things will go in the future. By nurturing a culture of inclusivity and empowerment, we can lay the ground where human rights are not just respected, but upheld as a fundamental cornerstone of societies. This region grapples with a lot of human rights violations and it contains various complexities. So working in a region with such complexities is a challenge itself. The establishment of such a network, gathering together young individuals from various countries around the region, stands out as a statement to the power of collective action and the resilience of uh, passionate young individuals. Our achievements really underscore the impact of fostering a community that not only understands the importance of human rights, but actively works towards defending them. Currently, when you look to the situation in Palestine, going back to the current situation in Sudan, moving to Syria and Yemen and Iraq and the rest of the MENA region country, those ongoing wars and conflicts have exacerbated issues such as displacement, refugee crisis, and the violation of the very basic human rights. As a human rights defender, it's crucial for us to address those issues holistically, understanding the interconnectedness of social, economic, and political factors that contribute to their persistence. In addition to the wars and conflict, human rights defenders face increased risks and obstacles in their advocacy efforts. The suppression of freedom of expression, association, limitation on civic participation, and even the targeting of activists pose significant hurdles to the promotion and protection of the human rights. So it's really crucial for the international and regional communities to recognize the interconnectedness of these issues and work collaboratively to address the root causes of conflicts and issues. Mostly, the social stigma is the most common challenge that we are facing as a human rights defenders, mainly because of the social norms, cultural, religious backgrounds we are having in the region. The human rights defenders so rejected by the community itself. So many young people are so afraid of engaging in human rights activism because of the social impact they will be having in their society. And also reprisals by our governments, by different actors, by different stakeholders may cause a lot of fear for young human rights to be engaged in such work. My advice would be just embrace your passion, leverage your unique skills and perspectives, and don't be afraid to challenge the current situation. Human rights advocacy is not only for lawyers, it involves each and every one of us. And this journey actually requires tenacity, empathy, and commitment. For young individuals, they need to remember that their voice matters and their actions can contribute to positive change. And don't wait for someone to be the change you want to see, be that change you want to see.